Hello there, this is Dave Allen and Wizard Golden. Today we're going to have a look and see what we can do with Dragon Dictate. The first thing to remember is that to have to go to the menu bar to get things started with it because there's no actual application window. You just work from the menu bar where you can turn the microphone on, switch to transcription, do your hiding or showing of commands. Except the command thing doesn't work yet and hopefully that's going to be fixed in the September 26th update. That's due. You can hide guidance or show guidance from there. I like to show guidance, so it's telling me what's going to happen there. And you can go into your profiles. You can uh, manage the profiles. So let's have a look at manage profiles. So here we are in the manage profile thing. Let's move the correction window out of the way. Let's put it over there. So in this one here, I can decide which one I'm going to use. I've got this spondicious one, which is one I started with the previous version of Dragon Dictate. And I've got Dragon Man, which is a new one I started with, Dragon Dictate 6. As you can see, I'm using the United Kingdom region, and the accent is British. I've got it set up to use my, my Samsung COU3U. It's a condenser microphone, and it's, uh, and it's sitting on the end of a microphone boom, so it's not affected by the hum from the uh, hard disks on the machine. I've got a Dragon anywhere on there. If it's available in your country, it's not available here in Spain yet. You can have a look at your shortcuts, you can check for updates, and you can go into advanced. In advanced, I like to uh, always show correction window when dictating and not close the direction window after each choice. You can have a look at maximum recognition alternatives. You might as well set it at the largest number there. It'll give you a few extra choices. Show the smart format rules. Worth having that on there. Mouse grid thing, I don't tend to use that, but it's there if you want to use it and you can send anonymous usage data and hopefully that will help Nuance make a better application because it really does be making better sometimes especially when they put out the first version of a new thing of Dragon Dictate. Let's have a look at what we can do with text edit which is a recommended place to do your editing. I also like to use Ulysses and Scrivener is another one which is a good place to use it. Um, I do find that I get some uh, odd things happening when I'm dictating into Ulysses and for that I'll do a small amounts of dictation into Ulysses but otherwise I think it's probably better off to dictate into text edit and then to paste it into Ulysses afterwards. So turn the microphone on, new paragraph. I would say that dictation is probably three or four times faster than using the keyboard full stop. As you can see, it takes a little while before the text comes up on the screen within the application. Full stop. It's a good idea to speak in whole phrases or sentences for the application to properly understand what it is you want to say. Full stop. There. Choose two. Words were strange. Full stop. As you can see, saying one word sometimes is worth doing if you're using a word that has homonyms, full stop. Homonyms are words that sound the same but have a different spelling for different meanings, full stop. Sometimes I will use this little trick if I want to have something in title, case, such as Dragon Dictate. Dragon Dictate. Choose two. This gives me the chance to choose from the correction window, full stop, new line, new line is different from new paragraph, full stop, undo that, new line. This is different from making a new paragraph, new line. It doesn't give you the space in between the paragraphs, full stop. Depending on where you're going to be putting your work, it depends on whether you want to have a new line or a new paragraph, full stop. Open Ulysses, new paragraph. As you can see, you can use drag and dictate to open and close applications. Full stop. I was able to swap from writing in text edit to working with Ulysses, full stop. It's working well within Ulysses at the moment, but after a little while I could expect to see one or two little problems happening with the way Dragon Dictate uses this application, full stop. It will give me funny little things where it will put the cursor in the wrong place. 
and it gives more problems when I'm trying to do some verbal editing of what I've put in there already, full stop. Correct art. I've put in there scratch word, scratch word, go to end. Sometimes it will work fine and sometimes it won't, full stop. It's not a good idea to use the keyboard as well as using the dictation within this application. It can sometimes be possible to do that OK in text edit or in Scrivener. Full stop. I don't recommend you use it anyway. Keep your hands away from the keyboard. Full stop. Put them in your pockets if you have to. Full stop. Open Scrivener. Now I'm working in Scrivener and it should be working quite well and not giving me any problems at all when I'm dictating into the application, full stop. Scrivener is a marvellous application and well worth having if you are a writer, full stop. I don't recommend using Word, full stop. Correct Scriven, Scrivener, undo that, correct Scriven, choose two, go to end, it's pretty easy to drag and scratch word, use drag and dictate. Even though there are a few bugs in the first version of drag and dictate 6, correct 6, choose 2, full stop. They are now calling it something else. I think it's dragon, professional, individual, Version 6, capitalised professional individual, go to end, full stop. This is the second time they've changed the name. It used to be Dragon Dictate and then the last time they changed it to Dragon for Mac, full stop. I wish they'd make their mind up. I don't particularly like the new version name because it sounds more like an application for Windows. Full stop. Capitalise Windows. Go to end. So there you go, there's a quick look at how to use Dragon Dictate on the Mac. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing, even though it has one or two bugs in there. Full stop. I should perhaps say that's one of the good things about working with Scrivener rather than using Ulysses is that you get the word count in the status bar at the bottom of the screen full stop and it's particularly good if you're using Dragon Dictate and you want to just see how fast you're working compared to how fast you'd be able to use the keyboard and using that old outdated way of writing dash typing full stop